With this, the empowerment deities are requested to grant empowerment. On Sarwa Tadangada Abeke Kate Samaya Kireye Hon. Thus, they bestowed the empowerment with water from the West, which fills the body and purifies the defilement. The the overflow of the water transformed into Amonga Siddhi as a Kron Amitabha, uh, Kron ornament. The empowerment that is dissolved into me. Om Bejaze Vane Yavare Zabare Vare Argan Gade Zatoha. Om Bejaze Vane Yavare Zabare Vare Baden Gade Zatoha. Om Bejaze Vane Yavare Zabare Vare Vive Gade Zatoha. Om Bejaze Vane Yavare Zabare Vare Tibam Gade Zatoha. On the other one is a very very long time to show. On the other one is a very very long time to show. On the other one is a very very long time to show. On the other one is a very very long time to show. On the other one is a very very long time to show. of the mandala of the Dharmakaya's great bliss, your portrait against the dangerous diseases such as epidemics and against untimely death. I pay homage to you, mother of wishful healing activity. Golden color, Panachavari, sitting on lotus seat. Your main face is yellow, the right face is blue, and the left face is white. Your hair is bound up in a top knot, and you are full of splendor. I pay homage to the divine body of the goddess who grants the complete man. Elusrius one, you are the embodiment of wisdom and compassion. You dwell in the midst of a mass of fire, which is burning like the fire at the end of time. With your three faces and six arms, you look terrifying and wrathful. I pay homage to you, who has one leg outstretched and the other bent. Wearing a robe of leaves, holding bow and arrow, a battle axe, and a bundle of branches. Panashawari, you display the Tiratini Muda and the Horda Varjara. I pay homage to you, Great Mother, protectress of beings. The crown of myself as Panashawari consists of the five victorious ones. From the heart follow strands of milky nectar filling my body. Thus visualize in this way all wrongdoings and obscurations are purified. Focus on that and then we recite whatever we can. Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Ho Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Daja Mane Ho Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Daja Mane Ho Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Ho Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Ho Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Hom. Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Hom. Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Hom. Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Hom. Om Bejaze Bane Javare Zawa Mare Daja Mane Hom. Om Bejaze Bane 
live here in the mantra so uh, conclusion is uh, evening after we finish teaching so that means you can chant anytime your mantra all the time uh, if you cannot join the evening so you finish the sadhana just yourself if you coming back to evening for so teaching then we're going to practice finish together so now we go to the Buddha Shakyamuni Sadhana and the Deity Yoga Sadhana. <clears throat> Deity Yoga Sadhana, so Buddha Shakyamuni. It's page 13, 1, 3. <clears throat> <clears> oh, <throat> <clears throat> unborn emptiness and the unceasing appearances of dependent arising are the way of illusory unity. Before me in the sky, amid the vast clouds of offering, on a jewel lying throne and the lotus sun and the moon did sit, the incomparable teacher lying of the shakas. His body the color of gold adorned with major and minor mind. Clad in the three Dharma rows, he sits in Vajra posture. His right hand gracefully falls in the earth touching Muda, and his left hand in the gesture of meditation, holding on arms full full of nectar. Like a mountain of gold manifesting, he shines in splendor, spreading beams of wisdom light across the whole expanse of space. The air closed suns, sixteen eaters, and the like, a vast ocean like retinue of noble beings, encircle him all around. Simply think of him, and he grants the glory of the highest bliss. Liberation from samsara and the nirvana, the two extremes, he is the great being, perfect embodiment, every source of refuge. With your great compassion, you embrace this disturbing and degenerate world and made 500 mighty aspirations. You are as exalted as white lotus. Whoever hears your name shall never return to samsara. Most compassionate teacher to you, I pay homage. All my own and others, virtues of body, speech, and mind, together with all our possessions, visualize like Samantha Bada's offerings, clothes are offered to you. All the harmful actions and transgressions I have committed throughout the beginningless time, each and every one I know confess, with intense and heartful regret. In all virtuous actions of the noble ones and ordinary beings accumulated throughout past, present, and future, I rejoice. Turn the way of the perform and waste the Dharma teaching. Sincerely, sincerely, in every direction, I pray. Your wisdom bodies like space and remains changeless throughout past, present, and future. Yet in the perception of those to be guided, you go through the display of birth and death, even so let your form body continue always to appear. Through all the virtues I have accumulated in the past or accumulating now and will accumulate in the future. For the sake of the benefit of all beings who are as infinite as space, May you, the severing of Dharma, be forever blessed, and may all attain the state of the victorious one, the Lord of Dharma. Living beings like us, the benefit in this degenerate age, have no guidance and protection because of your kindness, caring for us with surpassing compassion. Every manifestation in this world now of the three jewels is your enlightening activity. 
You are the, our only refuge, incomparable spring. So from our heart we pray. With total confidence and faith, do not neglect the great promise you made in times gone by. But hold us until we attain enlightenment with your compassion. Supreme Teacher Bhangavan Satangata Aha Complain the Perfect Buddha. Glorious Concordor Shakyamuni Buddha, to you I pay homage, to you I make offerings, in you I take refuge. Supreme Teacher Bhangavan Satangata Ahara Complain the Perfect Buddha. Glorious Concordor Shakyamuni Buddha, to you I pay homage, to you I make offerings, in you I take refuge. Lama Domba Jomden de de yin yibara Jomba yang da bara sobe zan Var jarwa shaja zu bala zan Zu lo yudu yadu from the Buddha's body, there emanates a great radiance of multicolored rays of wisdom, like displaying all our own and others' obscurations, and casting all the genuine quality of the Mahayana path arising within our eyes. So that we attain the level of a perfection from which we will never return again to samsara. <clears throat> so now we go to the Zambala Sadhana, ninety page ninety two, I think ninety one. <clears throat> Namo Lama, Sadhana. Achi Sadhana is uh, the English is done with the English, so they were going to lead. <clears throat> Can you begin, please, Kempo? 
Om Zobavai Hyudai Zarwa Dharma Zobavai Hyudaha. A white silver ri appears out of the state of emptiness. From the ri, infinite light streams forth and makes offerings to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. The light then returns and dissolves back into the ri. The ri then transforms and white Achichoki Droma, standing, tramples the four Mara demons beneath her two feet. She is dressed in a flowing brocade gown and adorned with various sorts of precious gems. Her right hand holds a silver mirror with which she looks into the three times of the past, present, and future, while with the left she brandishes the wish-fulfilling jewel that bestows upon supplication everything needed and desired. In her heart, upon the disk of a moon, is the white syllable re, surrounded by the syllables of the mantra.
Arise, Vajra Yogini, upon the crown of my head. Jiktan Sumpon Ratna Shri, Abides Nirmana Kaya. Love um, resides in my heart. Ramyam and calm emanate, purify all samayas. Emanate Uma and Ho, transform essence of offerings into their innate nature. Offerings for each Buddha clan fill the three thousand four. Oh, 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 Amma <laughs> Please 
extinguish suffering, accomplish all purposes as I make smoke offerings. Please disperse all obstacle, cleanse and purify impurities. Listen, clouds of sweet smelling smoke offering, medicines that dispel emotions. Silk brocade and incense, aloe wood, fragrance, sandal wood, and cedar wood, juniper, rhododendron, birch, and all very sweet smelling ambrosial trees, flower, yogurt, milk, all food and drink, purifying offerings of teachers. To the meditation yogini, leader of all dharma, protectors, dakinis of primordial awareness and commitment power, dakini, goddesses who devour, snatch away, heart mother. Protect us. 
us from obstacles, dispel all the dangerous times. By the power of virtue, dharma free of obstacles, gain level of dakini, dry up cyclic existence. Oh, the the Mahakala we're going to do afternoon. So we leave there, stop posting there, prayers. So going to the teaching. We're going back to the teaching. Um, Okay. Do you remember where we are stopped? Slide shows. Which slide shows we are? Slide shows means like the PowerPoint. Yeah. Slide show is number 94. Uh, and page number 26 in the book. 26 in the book? Correct. Okay, thanks very much. I see, so we leave it that the, she bestow happiness to all sentient beings, right? Correct. Kempola, what are we um, studying right now? I haven't joined this before. We're going to do the Supplication to Tara. Oh, Supplication. Okay. Supplication okay. to Tara. Uh, we have a PowerPoint, so I hope you can get. Is it on the Gardrama site? Uh, I think so. It, it is, and I'll share the link right now on the chat. So, which are the PowerPoint the slideshow is the length, you say, Teji? Uh, number 90, uh, 94. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, I found it on, I found it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm uh, teaching this one is very easy way. Uh, usually, the, you know, the way teach and the, you know the teachers like all preparing everything right first and when we teach in the shada we always have to preparing like read other commentaries read so many things so okay today i'm going to teach from here to here and this between so i wanted to give this kind of homework the preparing organized so very good way but this time I'm not doing any organized. Just whatever comes, I'm teaching there, okay? So when you're ready to stop, we're going to stop. <laughs> when you're ready to teach, I'm going to share the teaching. So we're going to go easy way, okay? Then I don't remember where I stopped last way too. Uh, so used to the internet, like one tempo, only the ask the like next day when he teach where i stop then the the when the other who's the teaching like student they will offering the book for him and then he teach and then after we he finished they didn't take the book he's home just leave it there so next day he come and ask where is our stop so they have to give it the exactly the the where the stop 
So today I actually kind of like that. <laughs> so that that Kenbo, his name is Kenbo Chichab. It's a uh, it's similar is Malarepa Wang Yogi, and uh, I'm very lucky I meet him. Uh, the his uh, he live the come Tibet like East Tibet very close to the Ando. So maybe you know this Kenbo uh, Jimin Ping. So so you, I share that one lot. So it's very famous one, not too far from his place. Uh, so this Kenbo Chichab is a uh, is uh, very strict and different than any one other teachers. Totally different. So he not listening to anyone. <laughs> not listening to anyone, <laughs> okay? Uh, so he never stopped teaching. Usually we have a Saturday, Sunday, like sometimes like eat one week has a break. And sometimes the monasteries that do some puja, store offerings, kind of something, they have to do something. This Kempo never stopped teachings. No one can anything ask him to like stop and oh we're going to do puja something he's not listening and he always teaching so does it matter who comes there no comes just his teaching of course there are lots of students there's like 300 monks live there this this all the monks is like not his monks but all the different con areas come to and stay there listening teaching from him him and like stay like for three just some is like of course one month some is like three months some is like stay three year four year five year so then some is just stay like always like with him just no going any other place so like that uh, he's a uh, you know uh has like 300 months and uh, he doesn't like board the temple just like big cabin Kevin like big big one. So this monks just bought the play board and then put the nails you join together and like three hundred king feet there. No statue, no tanga, and no any brocade, cannot do any decorations. So that's his tradition. <laughs> and uh, usually the in Tibet uh, the teachers strong we cover beautiful brocades. But his throne is, I have the picture, it's like uh, somewhere so I can share with you. It's just wooden, wood, and not any broadcast. <laughs> and the seat also, he's sitting there too much and already like the Christians also already like kind of like, how to say, the broken, you know, like, because you can see how he sit too much there, uh, like that. And his room is a uh, very small tiny also like cabin and uh, outside the some some area like you know cabin the the wing is coming so the block the you know the intubator the normal the uh, they make the tent yeah yeah here the yeah has like long hairs so they uh, make the tent the tent is very strong so so then some tent is like you know already too old broken people throw it so his cabin the covered like this kind of some uh, you know area because of this yard tank covered because they can blow the wing Log, looks like terrible you know look like just a doll <laughs> something like animal live there you know no human being <laughs> and uh, then he don't use anything nearby factories so he just only used is like made by like the our human beings like long term tradition like the pot is like earth made by earth you know like his pot and his bowl and everything. Uh, so he doesn't use any like cloth like this kind. Of, he thinks oh this is all made by Chinese. He doesn't like to use. <laughs> So, so strong will. <laughs> he said, no, I'm not going to use. 
And he doesn't want to go into the car. He said, no, 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 this is terrible things. Chinese nature, you know. <laughs> so different, you know. <clears throat> I never go in the road, like just stay in the one like that. And then here, of course, I was small part, I just, you know, like his room really came on me food much, so small. And uh, when people wanted to see him, just he has like kind of wooden window, he opened that, and then people can see him. So people offering money, whatever offerings, he give that every month twice, like make food for all the monks who live there. <clears throat> So like that, that he does. And uh, first, first time he's not that famous. Slowly, slowly he's become very famous. So many high lamas wanted to go to see him. He denied it that he don't want to see them. <laughs> and uh, the maybe you know the his holiness Peno Rinpoche is in Yingma's like head. He went to Tibet. He going to see the Kempo Jimmy Pinto. So. Can, going is on the way to like Kenbo Jimmy Pinto place. That Kenbo Chicha was lived there on the way. So he wanted to stop there. He wanted to see Kenbo Chicha. Kenbo Chicha said, No, 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 I'm not going to see him. They said, Oh, yeah, you needed to see him because he's the head of Nyingma, very important teacher, come from India. So people like respect lots at that time. India means like we thought it's heaven somewhere, you know. <laughs> He said, no, 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 this guy has a big ego, ego, you know, he's a big high lama. I'm not just regular monk. I'm not going to see them. So he don't want to go to receive. He don't want to do anything, post stations, receiving kata offerings. <laughs> just anyway, the Penoromboche also, they went to his area, they, they meet him. But he just, same as like, talk about the regular monks. And he, like that, you know, many teachers who wanted to, they wanted to see him, but then, you know, they give him information. So this big teacher was coming, he said, no, 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 I'm not going to see, I don't have time to do these things. <laughs> so he just kind of a different person. Like same, same as like Malarepa this time, you know. Uh, he eat food also just, you know, like tampa, maybe some like very something like used to like long time ago traditional food. Not anything come from factory things. So then he don't want to burn the temple. Yeah, if he wanted to burn the temple, he has a lot, you know, offerings like him bird temple is very easy because he has so many disciples become but he didn't bird the temple and always he shared the teaching he never stopped teaching even he sometimes say he say i'm not going to stop so sometimes like people told him oh today we have to do some celebrations for the 10th day of the 10th you know like sometimes the pema sambhava or sometimes fifth four moon 15th and uh, Buddhas like that, they wanted to do some festival, different programs. So he doesn't want to do that anything. Just he wants only teaching, no change. No one can stop him. So it's different, very special one. So when he, he passed away and he, he then he has a very special, you know, like this signs and uh, Tibetan called people who pass away it's called Tugdam and uh, you know meditation postures pass away and when he passed away he don't leave anything just nothing left and when he gone then the monastery also gone <laughs> no more exist because they all monks come from different area and they stay there listening teaching him and he don't really owned any monks like say this is my monk he didn't have anything like so always a different area they come listening teaching stay him with him and then they, they become you know many is become Kempo and they go back to their own monastery so when he gone they all, all is gone 
Wow. So I think that is like that is a long time actually Buddhist teaching ancient like tradition is like that. Mm-hmm. The dharma is should be like go that way, you know. No, it's a dharma is more followed by culture and followed by with uh, you know like just uh, people like what to say the kind of a home and uh, the different right now actually lots of things different used to during the buddha time and after that many yogis actually follow exactly what he did the same like that so there actually he didn't have physically temple but he built the temple each person's mind You know, that is more important than like physical temple, right? So now this time in the Buddhist is like lots of bird temples, but sometimes like some temples are not really Dharma there. Just only taking care of the buildings. So we focus a lot uh, all auto level, you know. So that kind of happening lots. But actually, depending area, you know, you need both balance. Cannot go to extremes. So we need to follow, go to the balance, you know, both sides. Right? We need the, of course, temple. But at the same time, not only temple is Dharma. Need practitioners, teachings. So, and then, or followed by the culture and the town. Then when we have a practitioner, the Sangha, also we need some temples too, right? So that's always like, depending on where you live, so we cannot follow one does something like that. Just that's also something we can learn from them. So then also we're going to do things like what we need, our situation. So have to look to our situation, which is suitable for us. So that's we have to look to do that thing that way. Okay, so now this is the just uh, the story, you know, one yogi. His name is Kembo Chichap. He's different person. I took picture with him long time ago, but I didn't, I don't know, I lost I didn't keep this maybe somewhere in Tibet the pictures. So he doesn't like to take picture with anyone. <laughs> Sometimes just he, he stay like he just don't recognize. We go in the somewhere side and take pictures. He, that's okay. Can you take picture with me? Say no, 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 no. <laughs> so you can take picture with him, but sometimes he just relax. He don't do anything and just he stay outside. You know in the in the yard, his yard, and also the front of this like cabin. So monks come there listening to teaching. So sometimes you come early, so he's outside somewhere there. He's just sitting and you just go and the, his side and like ask him to some question. He like to ask Dharma questions. Then he, he really like that, you know, he, you ask questions. So you can ask questions to Dharma, then take picture is okay. <laughs> If you say, I want to take picture, then he, he doesn't like that. <laughs> so you cannot ask him to do something, devotion, divination, you know, Tibetan, like culturally, that especially the lay people really like to do that. I always ask to lamas to do divinations, what happened, you know? So I wanted to do like, I wanted to do this business. Can you check divinations? I wanted to do going to something, you know, build a house or I lost something or where I can find, can you do divination? So much divination, someone's sick and all go to hospital or, or don't need to go or eat Tibetan medicine or Chinese, this, the, like Western medicine, which is good, you know, like that kind of so much as divinations, these things. So he doesn't like, that like someone come to ask their questions yeah. 
Then he said, right away, get out here. <laughs> and then especially monks cannot ask him any, anything like something blessing from him. Sometimes uh, let people ask him blessings, he gives something blessings, but monks go to ask him to bless him something, then he's really angry. He said, why you stay here? Why you no study Dharma? Why you ask blessing? <laughs> so then he criticized, criticized, you know, no stop. Sometimes he pointing in the, all this, uh, like the 300 monks in the between the hip pumping, you know, the, this monk, he asked me, you know. <laughs> so then, then he telling, why you know, you, you meditate, why you practice, why is your practice Dharma? Why you ask these things, you know, like kind of blessing things you ask him, so he pumping in during the, during this all public place. <laughs> So that's why everyone very scared of him. Because he he criticizes like pointing in the all the public place in there, right over there, telling you, you know, the especially monks, he, he really pointing. Uh, who live there, who listen and teaching from him there, then he pointing them directly. Does it matter who is there? You know who was there. You, you don't talk about only yourself. Yes, all these three hundred monks. So he pointing the, telling these things. You know. Then sometimes he shared the, some this different kind of stories. He laughing, exciting. You know. <laughs> so. So then, like that, you know, he, he just, uh, like only who stay there and study longer, he like that. Then comes, go, comes, go, then he doesn't like that. And uh, also, you just study Dharma. So that is his, his the main, you know, his aspiration, like who study and practice, that is the he want. The practice is also not he talking about the Yadam deity, talk about he just talk about how to practice like meditating. There's some area the Tibetan cultural tradition, some is like that kind of kembo. So teaching does is like all this teaching, like usually shade attending teachings, giving that teachings, then meditate. And uh, they don't chant the any Yadam deity like practice. So that's also like just, you know, like some people like that were practicing. But then there maybe they have a, their own something, you know, their own individually, there has some Yadam deities, but we don't know. You know, this Kimbo Chicha, what I'm talking about, he don't use any tankas, no any statues, no any sadhanas. So what he follows, teaching, and then meditate. So he didn't chant something, Yadam is practice. So that's also like different. Some people does like that practice, meditation. Many yogis like that. So if the, 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 that kind of, you know, practitioners, like first they study all this philosophy, recognize the emptiness, and they meditate shamatha, vipassana, and mahamudra. Only just follow that way. They don't use any generation stages. But there could be has, we don't know. They don't really share what they're doing, anything. Sometimes these practitioners, this, Practice Yadam is sometimes they call secret Mantrayana means they don't share anything for others what they're doing. So that's all different kind of teachers that does different ways of practice. So the, the practice is not always the same. They're always individually, this yogis does different. So you know so that way, <clears throat> then we 
<coughs> we understand a lot, you know, information or, you know, ideas. If long as you have wisdom and understanding Dharma, the essence of Dharma, then other, you can use different kind of method. The method is not always the same. So that's the reason you just look to the clearly, you know, Malarepa and Marpa Lotsa's history. Actually, Marpa Lotsa, he didn't give Dharma for him, just only punish, right? Criticize and punish. Then Malarepa just naturally his purify his karma. So that's kind of, you know, different method that they're using. Some, sometimes like special teachers, it's different kind of method. So then also practitioners, they get the ability to do something different. Right now we are just beginner. We have to follow the general teaching and we have to practice that something godly. But uh, these other high levels, they does things, they, they, they take care of their own student. It's totally different. So they, because they know they how to, what they have to do. They have the ability to do that. And uh, then Sahai the realizes like also whatever that does, Lots of like doing non virtuous deeds, but actually, the everything is take to the positive and transforming to the wisdom. So that's the reason Buddha said beginners don't act, it's the same as practitioners. Practitioners don't act, same as yogis. Yogis cannot act, same as the siddhas, means like higher level, more siddhas means like higher level yogis. The siddhas cannot do act, it's same as Buddha. They all have different levels. So we can see the, you know, and the, uh, they have examples like wolf. Wolf, I think this wolf is like animal, can jump, but tigers can jump more further than that. So it's where tigers jump, if wolves, wolves follow that, wolves came falling to the, to the, you know, in the uh, hills to die. So there has different, you know, kind of abilities like using this, you know, their own practice, right? Do you understand what I'm talking? Yeah, so that's the reason we, when we started Dharma, so this all, uh, have individual level to follow. Then today, like example, we're teaching here is like this uh, in the seven supplication to Tara. So this also has like different capacities can get different, you know, different. So someone looking for protection and a very beginner really looking for protection. This prayer is a protection. So then someone just wanted to study philosophy. This prayer has become philosophy. All of the philosophy essence teachings is there. You can, this, uh, this, you see this commentary, you know, like it's a little bit different when you read the root text. And then someone used, wanted to use like practice for generation stage, Yadam Dete. So this is all it's a generation stage. Someone have capacity to practice like Mahamudra. So then this teaching is a hundred percent, everything is Mahamudra. So that's, you know, the, the individual capacity get different. So also you studied Buddhist philosophy, become you recognize this is the, the philosophy. And then 
you know, this Tibet, the four different major lineages, uh, actually they all go back to, of course, India, the Nalanda University, they go back to all Buddha. So it's all, it's a source come from with Buddha, then Nalanda University, all these philosophers. So background, then it's the, for the tradition is to become Tibet Buddhist. So each lineage has commentaries. The Nagarjuna's root text, Chandrakirti's middle way part, and each lineage has uh, commentary for the way of Bodhisattva, you know, then Abhidharma root text, uh, Vinayana teaching. It's they always like go to the Nalanda, like 17 Pentateuch or 17 scholars the teaching in Tibet, different languages. They make commentaries. They use their own language commentaries. Actually, teaching is all go back to this Nagarjuna Asanga and this all the Nalanda universities. But then commentaries, of course, it's, it's same root text, hearing same root text. Commentary is a little bit slightly different. They just wanted to to the, make their own, like you know, tradition commentary. Then, like example, it's coming here. You know, two obscurations. Then two obscurations where they when they purify, they talk about example like first for me Bodhisattva, uh, the purify two obscurations. Some some this Tibetan language teacher says first for me Bodhisattva purify all these two obscurations. Some say no, only purify afflictive emotion obscurations. Some said oh no yet it's still there has a afflictive emotion obscurations. So even first Bodhisattva. So like that, you know, they're, they're telling this kind of a little bit different. So that's the, the, the kind of say, okay, this is my lineage, I follow like, the, my teacher, my lineage said this, I follow like that. The reason is that uh, Jigdin Sungun said that, Jigdin Sungun followed the, 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 the Chandrakirti Nagarjuna, they said this exactly same thing. That's the reason this is proving. So, you know, follow, go all the way back to this, Nagarjuna, and then if you find something similar words from the Buddha's teaching, you know, so they use these things caught. And then if you try to get logically approving. So they make different kind of commentaries like that, you know, follow own traditions. But uh, Jigdin Songgong, he didn't have any really commentary for this Nalanda uh this uh, philosopher's uh, teaching so then this one you see this uh, supplication to tara this you see this then we can explain this as a, like okay jikdin sungun's main point is like that so i wanted to follow this way you know kind of like making the the own path tradition follow the philosophy. So this is also some like follow that way. I wrote this commentary, followed by the some Jigdin Sungu other teaching commentary, Gun, the, his teaching Gun Chik and some others. So, so that's where it's like people who study philosophies, they're, they all try to bring into the philosophy way. Approving like this teaching is logically and follow the Buddha and the Nagarjuna's court and exactly kind of like just one, our lineage make the philosophy path. And then some, of course, like who practice Yedam Deity, so this use these prayers, practice, then the, all this generation stages using, use this meditation practice. Then who follow the Mahamudra, this whole, each, all this world is, is just into the Mahamudra meditation practices. Everything is a support to that. So who's the Mahamudra, Mahamudra meditator? They see this all teaching is Mahamudra. Then, of course, someone need like the 
fit instructions call like kind of some criticized teachers directly pointing you know our problems telling directly so then that is also this too because that say my mind is already afflictive emotions like then you recognize oh my mind is afflictive emotions so that is a pointing you know everything pointing instruction means like become sometimes we call pit instruction sometimes we call pointing instruction sometimes like yogis criticize the the you know like student their own close student they criticize them they're pointing their problems so that's you know like you can see this is the kind of and uh, different method okay so now i wanted to go into the uh mean teaching so mean teaching is uh yom jesin lamo duma yo is uh a buzz the blessed mother the deity tara so that one right we are there oh no no next one Sorry about that. My computer is very slow. Each slide here takes like long time. <laughs> Pushing where? De sem jing gen la determa. Okay, so de sem jing gen la determa. It's uh, 95, page 95. She bestow happiness to all sentient beings. That's right, we are there. So just actually we finish, not finish the first verses. Still we are in the first verses, right? <clears throat> she bestow happiness to all sentient beings. When just only low to this, uh, root text so don't think about the commentary first so she bestow happiness to all saint jean beings when you read these words she bestow <laughs> happiness to all saint jean beings uh -oh. <clears throat> please care for and my i put this is in there this <laughs> king here so strongly inside the same as the thunder is coming into the, my ear. <laughs> mm, so mood, please, ma, mood. Everyone make sure, so. She bestow happiness to all sentient beings. Uh, when I read this, uh, of course I have to follow by the first, this other sentence too, the first like, Verses like Ma Chewan, Tibetan is Ma Chewan, Mepe, Chiena, Yom Jitsi, Lamo, Droma, Yom, Desim, Jin, Kenla, Determa. This is the third sentence. So the first two is like Ambong, Dharma, Dharma, right? So Ma Chewan, Mepe, Chiena, Yom Jitsi, Lamo, then the, the Tara is always there. So Tara is there means like in the front, in the, in the auto level or inner level. So depending where you think, Tara is always there. Then that Tara is like, she bestow happiness to all sentient beings. So this also, you can think, just follow the relatively, the Buddha, outside the Buddha, Tara, we visualize the thinking about Tara. You know, that Tara bestow the happiness to all sentient beings. The same is the mother, taking care all their own child you know like that and then of course the the absolutely you go into your love nature your mind 
that is the Buddha, that your mind is Buddha, so that is the, the all happiness come from, per, permanent happiness come from, to bestow means, you recognize your natural mind, this is the Tara, this is the, the all the happiness that come from, bestows happiness to all sentient beings. All sentient beings has that nature, all sentient beings has the capacity to, uh, you know, get the absolute truth, happiness. So if you recognize absolute truth, the Tara, you can, you, you can get permanent happiness. So that's the, you have to know this root text when you read. And then, uh, <clears throat> this lane refers to the enlightening activity of the Buddhas who are imbued with the skillful means and the great compassion. Uh, so this right now is followed by the, see, mm, Uh, think about the first level, you know, ultra level, Tara. Uh, enlightening activity of the Buddha. The Tara is a Buddha, so you think about the Tara is in the, in the, in there, you know, ultra level. Uh, so not only Tara, any other Buddhas you can think about, especially which Yadam did you practice. This all activity of the Buddhas. Enlightening activity is like benefit for other beings. That is enlightening activity. Our regular sentient beings activity is like come for others, come for us. Thank you, sweetheart. Mm. Okay, so activity of the buddhas uh, is like benefit for others benefit or always like helping for other sentient beings like regular beings activities like usually you know humming for others humming for ourselves like we create our causes of suffering so that is the just normal regular beings that's like that enlightening activities always benefit others like giving happiness for other beings, bestow happiness to all sentient beings. So that's just the, all the Buddhas does like that. That's the reason we do, every day practice Panachavari, Buddha, Shakyamuni, Achi, you know, these sadhanas. The reason is we don't have like higher level realization. So we visualize they are ultra level, you know, and the, the us then help bestow happiness for other sentient beings, us, include us. So we're doing that kind of a practice. Who are imbued with the skillful means, so that this Buddha has like, imbued with the skillful means, they have a skillful means, and a great compassion. So we don't have that, that's the reason we cannot enlighten activities. This Buddha is imbued with the skillful means and the great compassion. So that's the reason, even they are rich in the Buddhahood, the manifestations benefit for other beings. They don't have to organize anything, just naturally happening. Naturally, this skillful means, compassion, this all connection comes, benefit other beings. So then you use logic and ways to get how to they benefit others. You think about your, this just, uh, our, you know, delusional mind, no capacity. This is already beyond, you know, Buddha's activities. So you er shoot arrow in the sky. So then, oh, my arrow is like almost uh, half of the space is already go or like all oh, like go like this. You cannot really measure the space is like endless. So only your just mindset, mind create, oh, my arrow is go like, you know, like this, like then almost like hit to the, in the top of somewhere, you thinking that all create your mind. But that's all, it's like our delusion, thought. Mm. So now with the no door wisdom of waking mind, so then there's a skillful, they have a compassion, 
the wisdom is the non dual wisdom we can mind. So think about our mind. It's not no door. Our mind is a delusion. So delusion mind, how can like measurement no dualistic, no dualistic, no door wisdom waking mind. Not possible, right? So when we was in the mother's womb, we don't have ability to recognize all this world. Because we know already born, we don't see this world. So even somebody telling us like, when you born, then you have this world, like, you don't recognize, you don't think about it, you, because we don't have a capacity. When we was in the mother's womb, so we don't recognize this world. Okay, so then we was born in the child. So maybe you was born very small, tiny village. So you never been any other villages, big cities. They talk about big cities, not possible, not thinking about anything. When I was born very small village, some says, oh, it's like big city somewhere, like, you know, the not really big city, one county is more bigger than that. They said that, then I show them my village and other bigger village. So I always think, other bigger villages, that one is always come to the, my mind. I never think about the more bigger the other, other, you know, other city. So then I thought it's just world is only that. I didn't know how different countries. Even, you know, like, see, we don't know the, you know, like other cities, you don't see and whatever the people say, oh, they have another big city. Only you come just your minds and follow this what do you see the biggest one? So thinking about that. Okay, so like that, our minds like that. So our mind is very baby, okay? Delusional mind. So that's the reason the, the known door wisdom waking mind is totally different. The Buddha appears in accord with the need, means like then, this is talking about the relative truth the Buddha, like, we use our perception, then they hope to benefit others. So Tara bestow, the root text says here, she bestow happiness to all sentient beings. How to she bestow all the other beings? Maybe Tara is like we think, oh, she reborn the human beings, how can she benefit animals? If she reborn the the citizen U.S., how can she benefit to other countries because they don't know the language, right? We think like that. Yeah, we, the, we know here it's okay, we know the English, so we, some country, we don't know the languages, how can we benefit to them? So we don't know the culture, many things, not possible to benefit them, same like that. So we don't have a capacity like, uh, you know, like example, myself is no doctor, and so many patients that I'm not possible to help them because it's, it's I, I don't know, I'm no doctor, right? I don't know the medicines, so that's it. So that is our mind. So that is our delusional mind, divided everything. The Buddha's mind is not like that because it's no delusion there. Then also like there, just this is an example, very small examples, how they benefit other beings. Buddha's effort to in according with the need, including preference and capacity of sentient beings in order to charm them in whatever ways are necessary. So whatever was necessary, said it to keep benefit to the Buddha's help for them. The main point is the Buddha's benefit is uh, co like create causes of uh, good karma. Okay. Not uh, helping for someone like they, what they want, something going to create causes of uh, uh, you know, suffering. The help something is like create causes of happiness, no harm for others. 
usually our um, uh, regular beings have for some others, like example, due to compassion, no wisdom, uh, no like wisdom, compassion, we do something, we have someone, but create suffering for others. Maybe become the causes of suffering or maybe create a suffering for others. So that's what we know, usually we say, oh, no wisdom, compassion, just say like that, you know? So sometimes like, so compassion, no really wisdom there, and then create suffering. That's, a, that's the reason Buddha means like four activities, right four. It's wisdom, compassion. They're, they're not going to spoil the other beings. <laughs> the right to be cut through is called right for, it's symbolized. You know, you have to know like right for means like not real, lots of like form is like scared, threatening, but not like that. That symbolize the meaning of cut through there. You know, someone does create causes of suffering and then wrath for means like cut through right away, they stop that. Even they're doing things looks like good for them temporarily, but they're seeing more feather than that, cut through right away there. And so that's the reason, in, uh, capacity of sentient beings in order to time them, what they need, you know, whatever ways are necessary. So even sometimes in the form of those belonging to the extreme views of. So when I read this uh, quote, that's really helpful for me is I'm not going to like also criticize other religions. No strongly attached to my religions, you know? So then sometimes we see some people does something looks like incorrect, but really we don't know. You have to find more information, not just news giving like pieces of information, so not like that. You have to know whole situations if, before you going to criticize someone or telling to someone, you know? Sometimes we also buy said like, you know, our side and you know, then we don't see then what is the reality because it's due to the emotion and our attachment. So by side is like so strong, we have that deluded, you know? The, the reason is because that's also come from I. I belong to this party, I'm not belong to others. Then whatever our eye side is doing is like seeing always good and others what that does is bad. That means it's like actually delusion. And uh, that's the reason we have to look to, in this always tell this teachings, look to your mind. Also look to 100% reality situations. Then you have wisdom comes, then you recognize. Then you don't have a like attached to your side, not hatred to others. So that, that is become wisdom arise. Wisdom comes. You know, sometimes we criticize others because due to our ignorance. This uh, special high realized teachers criticize their own students, pushing them is different. Because they know what they needed to do, they change. That's why also right for Yadam deities. Right? So we have to follow this, see? Exactly, you have to follow is uh, uh, our see, capacity of sentient beings in, in order to turn them in whatever ways are necessary, right? So that is a big pit instruction for us. So then when I read this quote, so I told you this, are also less biased religions. 
the bias, bias, right? Bias is correct. Bias, like I, I attach to my side and like hatred to other. Okay, so right. we have a lot of bias, you know, like that. We have a lot like that, and uh, this one helps, like of course, like first I am the Buddhist, and you okay, it's non Buddhist, and then of course non Buddhist also they have different religions or. Oh. I like them, I don't like them. So also I created that. The reason is like, oh, this is religion is like close to my religion. This religion is never harm to my religion. That's why I like, oh, I don't like this religion because it's, this religion is like not close to my religion. This is against my religion. So that kind of, you know, we have a strong division our mind. And then, of course, in the Buddhism, so I say, oh, I'm the Tibetan Buddhist. So, oh, this is the Sri Lanka and other tradition. Then, of course, come to in Tibet. Then, okay, so, oh, this is like Nyingma lineage. This is a Kaju lineage. This is Satya lineage, different kind of lineage. Then come into, okay, Digon Kaju. So in the Kaju, or oh, I'm Digon Kaju, or oh, there's other it's a different Kajus. So then also come to in Digon Kaju, and then, of course, this is my monastery, or this is some other monastery. So you have this kind of delusion, right? Thought. And then in coming into the, your one monastery, also they have different groups, you know, become. So like that. Our minds also load that, never finished. If you no stop in the, your mind. So we have this always uh, uh, bias, right? Bias. Uh, divisions. Bias is the correct word. Okay, bias. Okay, that's a correct word. Yes. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so we follow like that. And when we read this, it's the help for that kind biased release. You release your the, the bias is in your mind, then you no problem with other religions. No problem with uh, whatever people, uh, you know, uh, they follow, the, the belief, accept. It's everything is okay, you know. So then that's become helps our mind because it's like you have that kind of, then you already you open your mind and become comes more wisdom. For, for, you know, arise our mind. Then comes wisdom, then compassion is comes naturally. Wisdom is cause, compassion is result come. So that's the reason you read this one, you know, inter, uh, inter, internalism, nihilism. See, Buddha is able to form is sometimes internalism, nihilism. Internalism, nihilism. So I share with you one short story. Okay, I just remember that, but I don't know it's correctly. That story is so like when during the Buddha time, and uh, the the legend is like uh, David Dada or I think David Dada. So he's the it's, he's the half of Buddha's brothers. So he always against Buddha, and. Uh, doesn't matter what Buddha does. When Buddha is in the Siddhartha, he's in the kingdom, he's jealousy, everything. So he fighting for the position there. So then Buddha, Siddhartha give up that and he went to become spiritual. So then this, or he also jealousy for that again. He also become monk and wanted to hunt for Buddha's teaching, you know. <laughs> If he may mind himself, because he don't, then he also give up this, uh, you know, uh, kingdom positions. And due to his always jealousy, is the karma, you know. But this always actually he really have for Buddha. Sometimes we have uh, some people, you know, against criticize. That helps for us become recognize our problem. If they have problems, we recognize our own problem, we can change, right? If we don't have problems, but then, uh, so 
we can think about you know in the 37 Buddhist hour the even we don't any slight the things wrong doing anything but someone spread out uh, bad words or like you know whole words or something so so you can respect for their our spiritual means like you can create that's that's all you can use that to take part into the dharma practice so that's kind of you know like that's all uh, you know helpful actually if we know so how to use skillfully uh, if you don't know how to be used skillfully then of course it's, it's people telling things is harmful the world is not a warping it's uh, that's a the same is the warping destroy the heart so harsh words and telling like criticize stone words actually actually the tibetan that says words speak words is no warping knife but more words than knife because it directly hurt your heart you know <laughs> so like that and then if you don't know how to use this like turns from right post to everywhere it's of course it's a heart so if you know how to use this like kind but if you can change yourself and also take some advice from that and also use this as like our practice dharma you know the practice patient and then there's also like people telling like some things is like they have two things one is like just only directly to yourself then you can use that your practice some things like not only your service like become that harm for many people many others then you have to explain rather the upside you know carefully explain to the to the others so that's what we have to do you know practice the dharma sometimes we hear the criticize bad words from others you know they're telling things something uh, sometimes we never think about it, that people can make news or telling things to us. That is always happening as long as we are in the samsara. So right now you think, oh, you, you're not going to happen like that. It's some, sooner or later always happening and everything is possible to happening. So then also we think about, oh, Buddha is, you see, free from all, all this uh, like kind of uh, negativity. 100% positive, but many others criticize Buddha. So that's you think is, oh yeah, Buddha, like that kind of person criticize, of course me, I am just, you know, human being, I'm not 100% is good quality, you know, maybe 50-50, right? Yeah, maybe like, okay, even you 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 have 90 percent qualities 10 percent is more strong than 90 percent quality 10 percent negative is more strong than 90 percent quality so so especially in this called dead generation time and uh, you know hard to benefit for others so who going to benefit for others even there has uh, uh, the 95 qualities like five percent negative is that the five percent negative can destroy all that life people's life and it cannot benefit others that kind of you know is buddha already prophesied feature is a difficult time so that's the reason you we know so like that kind of happening right and we recognize that and then think about these things and uh, so this try to take on to the path whatever comes situations so also, so internalism, nihilism, I'm going to share with you. So that story is like, this guy has become monk during the Buddha time. So who against Buddha, David Data. And then he also intelligent guy, you know, not just uh, the, due to his like always jealousy. That is the biggest problem. Then he don't recognize what he's doing. And uh, so, Otherwise, he 
can learn the Dharma and he can show his quality perfectly. He wanted to become teacher. He said, I'm going to teach. Buddha said, no, no, I don't accept. But other monks, why Buddha not give him? Because the possessions, he's so good. He's so great, you know, like that. Something, oh, Buddha jealous to him. Then this guy, he created like some five different, uh, you know, roles, like special roles. So he presented to, during the Buddha, when he teaching, he get up, he said, I'm going to present these five things. Buddha, you must accept this. He read these five, you know, like different roles. So other monks say, yeah, need to accept. Buddha, he said, I'm not going to accept these five. <laughs> Because it's, it's, this is always up to individual. One is it the, he said, monks cannot stay in the shorters. Cabins have to stay under the tree. So Buddha says someone need, wanted to stay in the shorters, someone stay in the, under the tree. So they have to, to recognize what they need. He's not going to make rules. He didn't accept that. And, uh, so he said, monks cannot eat meat. And the Buddha said, long as no three uh, the perceptions you can eat. Three perceptions means like, it's like you strongly desired, wanted to eat meat. And like someone said, okay, I'm going to someone's home lunch. So their family specifically the meat. It's some animals care for my, and that's the reason they're going to offer me. If I know that, I hear that, I see that, I have thoughts like that kind of Buddha said, don't eat. Otherwise, not in any unexpected uh, People also just not really uh, thinking about, oh, uh, this food is for this monk. Not like that, just naturally, whatever the offerings, you eat. So that kind of like, you know, like he against like five things made, and the Buddha didn't accept that. Then he said, he will make some monks like not really their has wisdom that take his disciples and also that time another king support him who is the against Buddha. So then they take the half, almost half of the monks, like all, usually more beginners. He take them and separate. And the other came board the shorters and uh, of course what is the guy the David Dada he says he's not going to do that but he presented to Buddha because he attached to these all liberated things and the desire things. Other came board them shorters, beautiful places to live. Then who who attach to that or follow him? They see he has good qualities they don't recognize. So then that time, see. It's uh, in here, so this internalism, nihilism, the Buddha's the highest two disciples. The, then in the one time Buddha teaching in the, in the group, so other many monks upset because of David Dada, what he did. So King Gavo is another, he told Buddha, you have to tear this situation, so like everything for, you know, our student, and also you have to, directly talked with this David that the Buddha said, leave, you know, leave. Term, it's always just leave naturally. Buddha never against, you know, like directly against anyone, just leave. Then same time, you know, this Buddha's two highest disciples, Shariputta and Mogarpo. These two get up from all the front of these old students, they say, I'm also going to follow David Dada. <laughs> this too says. Then the, the senior monks are so upset. Buddha, Buddha didn't say anything. Buddha just looks like the same thing. Buddha said, didn't say anything. The, the two monks get up. They say, I'm going to follow the David Dada. Then they went to follow the David Dada. And they stayed there three months. See, Buddha didn't say, oh, you cannot go, you know, you cannot do that, like, no upside and nothing. Just leave them naturally. And then these two monks went to David Dada's place. 
And David Dada, he's of course lazy and he, he don't want to teach them. He knows the Dharma because he, I told you his problem is jealousy. And he knows Dharma, he don't want to teach. He has some strong supporters, some couple of monks helping David Dada. So, so David Dada have to relax and enjoy. So Shariputta and Mogapu comes, he's so happy. He said, oh, no, I'm so powerful. Buddha's highest two disciples come to me. And then they say, okay, yeah, I come here and I'm going to have you. So then he said, you teach them these guys. So he, he said, I know I need time to relax, stay. So then Shariputta, Mogapu teaching, right teaching Dharma correctly for them, training for them. And three months after Shariputta, Mogapu said, told them, no, I'm going to go back to Buddha's place. The reason is we have only one Buddha. Only the who compassion, wisdom, only awakening is only one. So his teaching is correct. And uh, just I come here and share with you this, the right teachings for you. So now I'm going back to Buddha's place. They didn't say you can follow me, don't come. They do go back. They of course, the other three months, the teaching givings, this, all the beginners become recognized Dharma. Then they have wisdom, so they recognize David Dada as an incorrect guy. So everybody left from David Dada. <laughs> okay, so that's the kind of, you know, this, uh, sometimes they show the, the internalism, nihilism means like, this Shariputta, Mogarpa, what they did exactly correct. They say, if they show us like, oh, I'm follow the Buddha, they go to there, they cannot help them. They cannot do anything with them. So that's just went there and they say, I'm followed the, the, there and then they're teaching them. They didn't criticize one word for David Dada. You know, just teaching correctly. And when finished three months after, they all follow to them to become bring back to the Buddha's place. So like that, you know, Buddha, uh, this awakening uh, uh, Buddha's the activities, sometimes they appear to internalism. Who has internalism view? So they appear to like that kind of spiritual teacher and the spiritual beings happen for them, you know taking care of them there they're always teaching it create causes of happiness not create causes of suffering because followed by different capacities what they need sometimes they appear to nihilism you know otherwise people who follow the nihilism how to you can get benefit you say oh no hellism you against that they don't like that they don't like that right so you appear to Buddha's different activities, you appear to the exactly same opinions, but then naturally they create positive karma imprint and create causes of happiness for them. They're not thinking about it right now, you need to change. They just live and create positive you know, uh, positive karma imprint and create causes of happiness and so forth. So that means I read these things, I can accept all other religions. Yeah, so that means like this spiritual beings, like different take forms, benefit their capacity, their what they need. They're doing things like that. And then this is the because by the power of previous aspirations. So there has these aspirations, previous life. We, we don't have like that because of our mind is deluded, biased. Who can do this free from dualistic power? No biased. And then of course, skillful, compassion, wisdom, all this comes together, then the naturally they has this kind of power to benefit others. 
the Buddhas were manifest in any and every possible way if it is of benefit for taming sentient beings. Uh, this is illustri uh, illustrated in the Nirvana Sutra as follows. So I'm talking about this one, you know, when I read this, this uh, Buddha's quote. Uh, others are just explain, you know, information. Uh, what does says, not blind, okay, yet appearing as though blind. So there someone group of blind. Example, think about uh, this ants, that's, they don't have eye. So if you wanted to benefit these ants, no eyes, right, for them, so Buddha can appear to ants and they, they, they can take care of them to like what they necessary. They can take care of them exactly what they need. So they also think about like many human beings like no eyes. So Buddha can appear to no eyes exactly same thing for them, sharing open nose things that create causes of happiness. But actually it's not blind means like reality not blind. The Buddha is reality not no insight ends but can be appeared to ants because of that all ants no blind and he can be uh, appeared to ants and they create causes uh, coming in print. So they also like need like conjunction needed to come back. Conjunction, see the rain just comes means like need so many conditions. Rain comes, right? Otherwise, just no clouds, no conditions, no rain is come. So Buddha's blessings, same as the rain, is his benefit, but they need conditions. So then benefit is like same as like the plants. Plants is like rain benefit to plants. Rain didn't have a bias. I wanted to benefit this flower. I don't want it to benefit this tree. Economically, everyone always does the same thing. So, the is one teaching is the Gambopa Buddha benefit the same as the sun. Buddha's benefit the same as the rain. So Buddha's benefit the same as the space. Like that kind of, you know, lost example. Like Buddha's benefit the same as wish for feeling giver. So many uh, examples, like very good examples. So like that, you know, Buddha's effort to benefit others. Uh, then not crap feet. So this is hard to read. Not crap feet. I know the meaning. Uh, crap or crap feet. <clears throat> crippled. 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 Yes. yes. Oh, it's already 12 o'clock, oh my goodness. <clears throat> so then Buddha can be for like exactly like that. And some like example, crap feet, someone cannot walk, someone really lonely, suffering. Buddha exactly can approach to form company for like that. To benefit others, okay, and uh, crop it. Not a child. This child is actually not talking about the child. Just, uh, just uh, the our baby. You know, not this word is not only baby. Child means like our mind is actually child. <laughs> so, the our mind is not. We don't have. What is said, the uh, really mature mind. Our mind is like immature. So we are all are charred. The regular beings is charred. And yet appearing in the God, the uh, child, you know, like he can be yet appearing in the God, God's aspect of a child. 
So then this has so many different meanings. So many different meanings, like uh, that, you know, example, some people looking for real, real charge, parents don't have a child, there's so much upset suffering. Then the all the condition comes, Buddha can be, can be able to charge, can blessing, you know, they can be have a charge to benefit for them. You know, someone need partners, Buddha can be able to partners. So that is go up to the Vajrayana level, then you can recognize your friends, your partners, like, or it's like become Buddha, you know. <laughs> so think about benefit me to the able to my, uh, my partners and or, you know, husband, wife, my child. So that's, sometimes that really helps for them to, to think that way, you know. The mind also, if you recognize. It's all dependent level. So yet, yet appearing in the girl's aspect of a child, the Buddha's manifest to wrapping, thinking being sometimes in the custom of Shiva and the Barmas. So that means like Buddhas can be appeared to other religions, uh, teachers, uh, non-Buddhist teachers, non-Buddhist gods. So that can be appeared to like that way, Shiva and the environment. Sometimes in the custom of Maras, so there can be a custom of Maras. Uh, the David data is actually the Mara for Buddha, but David data actually his custom of Buddha's like. Maras means like he is actually Buddha's manifestation because he really, really have for Buddha. Then, the due to the David Data's compassion, we recognize how to practice. Not always like followed by good, 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 right? When we practice time, like the what these problems, obstacles, people makes like difficulty for us, how to take to the path, how to use these things happen when happening, you know this. The actually, uh, David Data shows Buddha's uh, qualities. He really have for the he have us. Recognize Buddha's quality. Otherwise, wow, yeah, Buddha, yeah, Buddha, right? But we don't know how to deal with these difficult situations. David Data have for us, you know, how that shows actually Buddha's quality, and also he help us. We have when we have on the path practicing any world deal activity. This when difficulty comes, this all take to the path. Otherwise, we cannot make movie, right? If you're going to make movie, they need bad guy and good guy. Otherwise, like you cannot show the good guys like his qualities. He how oh, he give up his life helping for others, doing good things. If without a bad guy, you know how can show his hero? <laughs> Same like that, you know, this David Dada is like, it's a part to Mara's form, it's actually Buddha's uh, manifestation. So practitioners then, they can take this kind of, you know, uh, the telling situation, telling situation is part. That's the reason you read that way of a Buddhist Sava is clearly understand. Uh, benefit for sentient beings cannot be fathomed, understood. With our capacity, not possible because our mind is deluded. Too narrow. Our mind goes four extremes yes, no, or either, or no, neither. 
we have to accept something otherwise we don't know anything uh, by ordinary people of the world so this cannot be fathomed by ordinary people of the world not possible to recognize the reason the awakening ones bring about the benefit of sentient beings through a multitude of skillful means is this. When they are on the path of attaining, they recognize the wisdom of uh, uh, Panjaparimita, the Dharmakaya to dwell within themselves. So on the path, actually, they recognize, see, they recognize absolute truth. So I think we, we stay there, it's okay. So we just uh, take break here and when we come back, we can follow the way they are on the path of attaining. So we leave there, take break and come back to three o'clock. That's okay, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, take, take lunch break. And Thank don't... you, Tampa. Thank Don't forget to both. come back to Thank three o'clock. Three. We'll be there. Thanks, Kenpo. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Kenpo. Bye. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you, Kenpo. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.